Uh, we are live, so we will do it officially soon within a few seconds. Okay, sounds good. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Destro Dev Show. And it's been a very good journey so far. We have done a few live shows already on our channel. And today, uh, it is like the fifth show. Even I forgot to count. I think it's getting bigger and bigger slowly. So, And today, we have Alex with us. And I know Alex actually for last around four years, right? But before we go into there, like, hello, Alex. How is going everything? Yes, hello, uh, hello again. Today is Friday, so we have something to celebrate. Tomorrow the weekend starts. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> so going well. Actually, we know each other since 2016, so that's exactly four and a half years. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, nice. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, I met Alex when I came to Germany or came to Berlin. And yeah, he was also here and it's been a nice friendship and journey for both of us to grow ourselves in the career, in our life, in our personal life and everything. And also today's topic is uh, a bit interesting because Alex is uh, actually UX designer. And from that point of view, he worked, I mean, he worked with a lot of developers, right? Of course, like in different companies, in your probably private projects or your employers. Uh, so how do you came up with this uh, title or topic? Because this topic seems very interesting because in our day to day life, maybe we need to do better and better for this thing. Right. Maybe please uh, say something about it. Mm. Uh, yes, you're right. Uh, I've been uh, working with many developers uh, in my yeah. past, uh, currently, before, and in future. And uh, you know, like the biggest challenge uh, between designer uh, designers and developers, it's always the same. It's really hard to explain why, but it's always uh, communication. So communication yeah. means collaboration. And uh, it's even more in 2021 because we are now working remotely completely, all of us working remotely. So we have even less connection between us. Uh, that's why I think it's a good time to, to talk about this. Uh, we can share uh, our experiences. We can have uh, a chat and uh, hopefully I'll bring something new to, to the table. Yeah, it will be awesome. And uh, right now seven, People are watching live, so let's see if it increases slowly. And uh, yeah, then maybe slowly let's go into your topic, and then we can uh, build, build, and move forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, so yeah, I actually uh, prepared a quick uh, presentation, a couple of slides put together because uh, it makes sense to you know, to make it a structured way. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm going to start sharing my screen and then uh, we can start our discussion. Yeah, sure. Uh, all right. So the title is the following How Developers and Designers Can Collaborate uh, Better. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this is always an um, Im important topic. Uh, sometimes it's not very obvious uh, what uh, do we mean uh, by something and what do we expect from our collaboration. Uh, but generally, uh, going through my career, I found some of um, uh, similar issues or challenges. So today uh, we will talk about them. And um, this is the picture that actually uh, can present the face of developer when we designers ask to change something. Like, yes, it's good, but let's make something uh, again. And then we, we are entering uh, the cycle of endless changes, and nobody likes it. Um, I would I would love to make a statement uh, that great products come from harmony between design, vision, and technical details, and collaboration is the method for uh, creating that harmony. Um, yeah. So the structure would be the following. I'm gonna share some best practices. But um, nobody uh, should take it uh, personal. These best practices 
uh, are for both parties, for develop for for designers and for developers. So uh, it's better to have equal contribution and uh, contribute uh, equally and uh, supportively. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. So let's maybe jump from it. Uh, so first of all. Um, we will follow uh, this in some order because um, first of all, we need to, to know how do we speak uh, to each other, what our channels, how to how to communicate. Um, for example, if that's a small team, there is a big freedom of uh, defining the ways of working. So it means if there are two freelancers or three freelancers, we can freely decide, all right, so we don't like calls, maybe let's keep our communication uh, in Slack and we can do even retros, um, we can do grooming sessions in comments, whatever fits the best. So uh, the point for this uh, slide is the following. So rule number one, we designers and developers need to define ways of communication. So. Uh, what are the channels and how uh, we talk to each other? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, we go to the slide number two. And to be honest, this is one of the, the most important, uh, especially when it comes to front end engineers and designers. Um, because what uh, sometimes designers are tending to do uh, they create unreal designs, those that are not very, um, or, or very yeah. difficult to implement. Yeah. So yeah, you, you know, these examples yeah, and yeah. then you receive this task and then you're like, wow, this will take weeks and weeks. Uh, why haven't you speak to me before? So there is uh, an opportunity for designer, uh, to come to developer earlier and speak about uh, future designs. I think this is crucially important uh, because uh, what we can receive designers in exchange, we can receive some feedback. Um, developers can provide some uh, constraints. What are the limitations? Maybe we cannot do this because of the specific reason. Um, so I strongly believe that both of us uh, need this um, early involvement. Um, another solution um, or, or good discussion that can be on these meetings or calls is finding uh, alternatives for difficult UI solutions. For example, uh, at some reason, designer suggests um, a new type of loading, uh, loading spinner, but because he doesn't know all the components that we are using in design system or that's just a, a fresh, a uh, fresh member of the uh, of the team and in this case the developer can say look but here we have uh, a component for loading and we don't have to implement it uh one more time so it's always win and win to win situation um yeah yeah if... okay um UX findings, fi findings ex exchange. Uh, this is not very obvious one, uh, but you can confirm uh, that um, sometimes uh, developers are working on something like a small feature. Uh, we ship and we don't know what, hap what, what happens next. Uh, but the most important, we don't know why are we doing it? What is the problem? It means that yeah. they don't really have uh, any channel for receiving uh, user feedback. They don't know, is it a real problem? Or maybe that's just designer wants to do something or product manager pushes for feature. Uh, but usually the certain need um, beside, um, above, um, uh, uh, above the solution. So there are a couple of things that uh, designers should do and developers should do. Um, we can have some knowledge sharing. So it means that um, 
designers can ask uh, sorry can uh, can um, can share some reports or summary about problems so so that mm -hmm. uh, dev team is aware of challenges that customers are experiencing on the platform for example yeah so being being more transparent i would say yeah uh, this also counts to this column um another uh, exciting uh, moment so i've seen developers participating uh, in uh, research so uh, I've been in the room um, with backend engineers, and we both um, were observing a um, moderated test that we've done uh, for uh, for one of the, our features. And, we, and all of us, we were really excited because, uh, because you can see how people use it. You can see their obstacles. You can, you can see their, uh, their pain sometimes. And... Um, it's, I think this is a very important moment for uh, not just for designers, but also for, de for developers to see how this UI is uh, behaving in the real world with real people. Because without it, uh, they lose this touch to people. And yeah. uh, it's like a feeling just shipping code and code and lines and like for what? Why, were, why are we doing it? We are doing it for for people and for business, so uh, we need to. Uh, all everybody needs to see it. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah, I think uh, what you said that's a very good point because uh, <laughs> a lot of developers. I mean, I'm not saying others. I mean, they, when I say developers, it, it includes me because I am also yeah. a developer. So please, guys, don't mind if uh, don't take it uh, personally. So. Like we are developers and we know it. Like we are probably uh, shipping code to the production, or, and we actually don't know who is using it, what problem we are solving, right? Or what is basically the problem? So someone just told us that this is the uh, UI and this is the requirements. There is a document of requirements, and we just read it and do the code and ship it, which somehow is is a lack, right, in the whole system which which actually alex tried to mean i personally also would really uh, love to engage in the whole product cycle like i'm a developer that's fully fine but i would also love to learn from ux people maybe pr from product people even 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 maybe from user like the real user who is using uh, the code i'm writing yeah please yeah. go on. yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah I exactly this um i had quite interesting experience um in my past uh, i think i i miss i skipped the part um so i've been uh, a colleague uh, of uh, shijada before so we both worked uh, on ebay and uh, after that i joined another company um another company and our developer uh, office of like 40 people was completely uh, um, com uh, was completely located in in India in New Delhi, mm -hmm. and we had this challenge of working remotely since like uh, a couple of years already, and um, very often I've heard uh, the feedback from them. Hey, we are working from uh, from Delhi. We are shipping code, and we never know what is. What is what happens next with the code? How, okay, what is yeah. the people reaction? So it, it's very important. Um, yeah. And why? Okay, designers start with problem definition. Uh, I guess not everything is under uh, your control. I mean, your control engineers. But what you can do um, to complete uh, the step uh, so next time uh, when designer uh, comes to to you or uh, product manager uh, you actually can uh, can ask to to define the problem okay uh, what do what are we trying to do and why and then the response would be okay so we made a user research and people told us or we checked our metrics and we've seen yeah. that people are dropping here. So ask uh, why uh, just at the beginning, because you need to understand what would be the impact of the thing that you are going to work on. Yeah, true. Okay.
Uh, yeah, so I'm trying uh, to give advices for, <laughs> for both parties, e even for designers. Maybe that's only me, but uh, anyway, that's a good moment for remind myself. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, true. I mean, we are, we are also not saying that we are the expert of the world because we are yeah. also learning every day from, from all, like all of us, right? So from everywhere, from internet, from people. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we are trying to grow, to learn something new yeah. and maybe to educate uh, other people. Yeah, exactly. Mm, we should speak the same language. Um, we won't be able to build strong communication without understanding each other. This is tricky one, I have to say. Uh, tricky for, for, for both uh, of us. Uh, because what I'm strongly advising uh, designers, go and take HTML CSS course. You, you won't regret, you won't regret, believe me. Um, I recommend to try um, some Swift basics uh, for iOS uh, mobile designers. We need to see the environment and uh, how developers work. At the same time, uh, we also expect to uh, have some um, understanding from the uh, developer side. And from uh, and for this point, I would recommend taking like UX basic course or design thinking, or you can just simply read the book, uh, which, which is called Don't Make Me Think. Uh, highly recommend. And... Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably you you would uh, you would agree because sometimes you're, speak, you're speaking with people and they don't understand what is it, what is like a but. Sorry, what is the button? What is the div? What is the padding? And from designer point of view, after uh, going through um, HTML and CSS co um, uh, course, I've seen a big big uh, benefit. Uh, of uh, talking to people, uh, to, to developers, and uh, understanding them a little bit um, better than before. Cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So there is another challenge, uh, like a topic, which is like a holy war for for tech people. Should designers code? And uh, but that's another one. I think uh, designers should not. Uh, be able to code or don't have to code, but uh, we should understand the basics. Yeah. Um, providing documentation for mockups. Uh, so this is not just him for designers, uh, but also for developers, because uh, you can do, you can receive um, um, a perfect happy pass uh, mockup, like, okay, here is the pop-up that you need to design, or here is the screen, and then this is just one screen. And then you're trying to implement and wondering, hmm, what if we don't have server response? Um, what if there is error? What if we miss this information? What's gonna happen? So uh, I recommend uh, designers to, uh, uh, to provide uh, these specifications um, uh, on handover calls and um, provide, of course, additional error states if if happens this and that. Um, but at the same time, um, receiving sites so developers should not uh, be hesitating to ask questions and clarify uh, because if there is a call or meeting uh, for handover, it is a means to be a discussion, not just receiving information from designer. Um, yeah. yeah. And you can see here the nice picture called uh, UI stack. This is from Medium. Uh, it actually, this picture actually says that if you take any screen, there might be potentially five different states. It's a blank state, loading partial state, error state and ideal state. And the yeah. problem is that sometimes designers, we just only show ideal step uh, state, but uh, not the rest. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so uh, maybe we can uh, add uh, one line here also, like 
yeah. what you just showed which is also very important because uh, as uh, we work with uh, we we say like modern web applications right so and yes. as we we work with that we say that modern web application and everything is something like uh, ajax based call and everything so it, when we load the page for the first time we actually don't see the, the whole data instantly in the first first thing like if we talk about just html css page then we see it instantly like it, everything is coming from the server but if we talk about that ajax based uh, uh, call and data fetching then we might have a lot of state afterwards let's say what you just showed like maybe in the beginning there can be a blank shell and then for the all the data call calls there may be some errors there may be some success calls and based on that the ui can behave fully uh, like differently and as we actually split the ui into multiple components or sections because right now all the frameworks all the big frameworks like react vue or angular they all talk about component right so if we think from that point of view maybe one component will show its data because it was successful and the whole other page can be completely different right which will be really bad experience for the user so having this uh, concept in mind for even for developers and also for designers will be really a big uh, yeah big thing mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah 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 absolutely uh, because what I also experienced a couple of times, just making this mistake, I didn't think it, uh, so. I didn't think about uh, the state states uh, deeply, mm -hmm. and in the end, on production, we had like two seconds delay uh, from the server. Yeah, and there was nothing on the screen. <laughs> it just appears. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, as you said, not the best user experience. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, okay. So, handover for animations. Um, that's a, a tricky one because uh, there is no. So the, the the problem is that there are no no tools, no not no strong tools that uh, can uh, make good specking for animations. And it's still uh, not very clear for designers how to hand over this. Uh, but there are a couple of different methods. Um, what we should do and what developer um, can ask a designer uh, yeah. if there's any animation. So we can either uh, provide an example of interaction. So for example, um, I've what I've done many times, I just Google like, um side in animation code snippet and then uh i receive it in code pen and then i share it with developers and it's great mm -hmm. yes uh, ui is not the same but uh, at least i can showcase the animation yeah, yeah. um another but more time consuming uh, idea is uh, to make uh, an exact prototype so um, we can count uh, this for very complex and advanced uh, interactions. Um, something really custom. Yeah, in this case, uh, designers need to, to work a little bit uh, more and uh, create an example of the video, how interface uh, should behave. Yeah, true. Uh, or if but if nothing, uh, sometimes, for example, some of the frameworks provide um, some animations already. And what we just need to do from designer point of view, provide length, curve, delay, properties for the animation. We can say, OK, so this is going to be a side-in animation from the bottom with 500 millisecond length. And maybe that's enough. So uh the whole point of it we should not ignore this on our handover calls we should discuss it and define the best way for us yeah <clears throat> um better preparation for handovers uh okay so that's a lesson for for two parties again 
Um, so designer prepares the walkthrough of a prototype, adds different states, and take notes. Because what, what usually happens on a call, uh, we hear uh, tricky questions about states, about uh, about uh, unhappy passes, about something breaks, and uh, we should not forget and take notes. At the same time, uh, what uh, what do we expect from the developer side is to um, we want not to. I wouldn't say we want, but it's it's better if uh, the the ticket, if it exists, uh, is re has read uh, uh, up front. It means that the developer knows already uh, what is going to be discussed on the call and what is the scope of the project, what is the scope of the feature, uh, whatever. So uh, he she needs to know the concept of uh, of the discussion, what we are trying to to discuss. Um, and no, of course, asking many questions. This is required, and uh, not assuming anything, and taking notes. So there is nothing really fancy um, about these small steps. I think this is super simple and basic. But the problem, or like why I am saying this, because we sh we anyway ignore it. <laughs> We anyway don't take notes. We anyway are not asking questions. Sometimes we assume that, okay, so if I click here, probably this will lead me to somewhere else. But if you have any doubts, it's better to ask. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, asking questions, I think, is very important. And also, it doesn't uh, mean that you have to be expert also to ask a good questions or if you have to be expert to share opinions and even doesn't matter if your question is dumb or your, your opinion is dumb right because <laughs> in that way the developers and the uh, designers can have better understanding also or be better bonding right it, is, it doesn't mean that you have to all do all the technical stuff but i think to make a good bonding like 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 i don't understand this maybe i will ask like okay why you make this like this so maybe mm -hmm. then he or she can answer this and maybe i will learn something so it is also good for learn learning i'm saying for both way both parties for bo both people like for designers and developers so it is always good to ask questions and share opinions and maybe like from other side of the world maybe as a developer if i share any opinion the opinion can be dumb or ideas can be dumb but the ux person can from that dumb idea they can even have a better ideas in mind right because you know like you, you start from something so it is always better to share ideas and questions uh, ask questions mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. absolutely 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 right um, I love this idea of uh, uh, of discussion and asking questions. Of course, that's for for both uh, for both parties. And uh, yeah, I think there are no dumb ideas <laughs> because, as you said, you uh, very often there is a dumb idea. But if we combine them, there is something good uh, to think about <laughs> in the meantime. So yeah, it's. Uh, also, I think this this is a good uh, channel uh, for developers to understand why it is uh, it is so why it is displayed. So why do we need uh, th th this data? For example, um, for example, we want to show some uh, stats um, on the page. Maybe it's a profile page, and then we want, and then we uh, the, we designers want to include uh, how many people. Uh, have viewed uh, this profile page mm -hmm. and it's not clear until you ask and then uh, if you're asking i can reply hey we actually checked that this will bring more ed uh, engagement uh, because people love to interact with, with each other and we believe if we display this information this page will bring uh, will, will have more attention something like that so there is opportunity yeah. to learn uh, to what we do for both of us yeah, exactly. So uh, uh, we have some comments, uh, Alex. Maybe we'll just show it for a few seconds in the middle. So, yeah. like, Iskander said hi, sir. Hello to you. 
and uh, NM's hello. documentary. Okay, hello. And then uh, Rifa said hello, hello to you. Hello. And, Thank you, everyone, uh, for coming. Yeah, Nabil said, I think uh, he sent some emojis, but it didn't show here. So social distancing, stay home, do the five. Okay, we are doing actually uh, social dis distancing. So we, we are good. Thanks for say, uh, saying. Yeah. And then Hasibur saying, hello, hello to you. Yeah, th this is all are for now. Let's continue. Maybe we'll have more later. Mm hmm yeah, uh, thanks for coming. And uh, yes, please ask questions. I'm really excited to uh, to answer uh, to answer your questions. Maybe yeah. we can have another discussion. Uh, maybe I didn't cover everything uh, yet, so there is opportunity for us uh, because maybe that's not very often when we designers can freely uh, communicate with developer side, and you can ask us whatever you want. So let's use this advantage. Yeah, true. Uh, okay. So we go to the next slide. Mm -hmm. So I believe that designer should always review the implementation or be involved into QA process. Um, let's imagine the situation that um, uh developer as assumed something or he received another instruction from pm and designer didn't know and then there is it's on production in application it's it's live and then there is a big like a conflict and disappointment okay so here is the mock-up we had handover call we discuss it and and what i'm seeing right now so it's it's a common mistake <clears throat> And uh, to avoid it, uh, I suggest so it's either a designer review uh, step uh, um, in development process after QA or before QA, or developer is oh, sorry or designer is is uh, is partially involved into QA ticket uh, for this specific feature. So that's a solution. That does one. In this case, uh, everybody is um, responsible for result. Uh, I didn't report it. Maybe I missed that. So who, uh, who uh, not nobody to blame for? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, well, this is the last one. Uh, be nice and respectful. In the end, we have the same goal of building beautiful, useful, and uh, fast products, and working together is success fac uh, success factor. So it means that uh, we should work in the same direction uh, because yes, we have different responsibilities, uh, but we are doing the same thing in the end. Um, so we should uh, coordinate our effort and help each other. Um, yeah, this is uh, and uh, of my slides, and maybe uh, we can start our uh, QA session discussions. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we have one question uh, right now. So let's see. Uh, it's from Luigino. I'm a little wondering if the handoff is the best time to provide input on the concepts as it might require rework on pixel perfect mockups. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's why um, one of the first things that uh, I want to emphasize, so this is slide number two, devs involved into design from the start. Uh, of course, we are not able to show the pixel perfection on the initial mockups uh, on the first review session, um, according to, uh, to my experience, uh, I tend to show something unpolished, rather raw than ready and pixel perfect. And this is a time to have a discussion because when it comes to pixel perfection, okay, like rounded icons, here we need to have this spacing. Uh, it is a responsibility of a designer 
to decide how exactly this is going to look. I mean, handover call, it is too late to really fight around these small details. So it's, it is better to prevent it. So it is better that uh, we, uh, designer and developer, we sit together right from the beginning. Um, uh, developer is aware of the concept um, and can see all the potential problems. Yeah, that would be my reply. Okay, so maybe uh, one thing uh, you already touched, I think, about the QA uh, involvement, right, for the uh, pr product. So uh, I think if, if I understood correctly, like you meant like everyone should be involved in the QA, including UX person, right? That's what uh, you. Uh, okay, where is it? Uh, not specifically. Yeah. Uh, let me let me just explain it real quick. Better preparation here. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. design review. Yeah. Okay, so what I mean here. Um, so we have uh, five designers and we have mm -hmm. uh, thirty developers. Uh, for example, that's a mid-sized company, yeah. and uh, I'm working on sign-up flow. Just me. So, yeah. uh, and there is a group of developers. So. This is my responsibility, not another my another coworker designer, and just my res responsibility from design point of view to make sure that they implemented it right. So I should be either participant in uh, QA sessions or we have a dedicated time to speak about um, polishments mm -hmm. and uh, we need to have this uh, room for improvements because I almost don't remember any time when uh, implementa implementation was done without any input from from designer. There's always something um, little small to add or to change. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. And and also also from uh, another point of view, like how do you take like it is like like a question maybe a lot of developers faced in their life but maybe they don't talk it publicly like how do you take it like as like being a friend i'm asking to you right so yeah. let's say you are a designer and i'm i'm a developer and this topic exactly fits into our position right you are a designer and i'm a developer so for example you made a uh, design which is cool and everything okay. If I share any ideas on your design, how you will personally take it? I mean, how do you feel if some developers uh, share anything or give any opinions or any ideas on your design that it can be this or it can be that? Mm -hmm. Okay. I, um, I just want to know like the uh, designers uh mentality or point of view because i am also learning or growing right right so <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, first of all i won't be offended <laughs> yeah also also it will probably help not only me i'm also asking based on a lot based on from a lot of people because i think this question is there in their mind right but no one okay. probably ask mm -hmm. yeah 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 okay yeah. so yeah. there are some design suggestions um so the polite uh, and normal response uh, from yeah. my side would be, um, okay, yeah, let's look what's your idea. And then uh, either I take it with me and think about this uh, carefully, or we, we cannot do it because, because um, it doesn't go along with the concept or this mm -hmm. would make it more difficult for user. Yeah. So here, yeah, you know, here is like the problem. Um, we designers try to make uh, it. It seems from outside that we designers try to make uh, the life of developers harder because <laughs> we are trying to uh, to move pixels, the two pixels to the left, one to the to the top, and like, what's the point? Uh, yeah, I, I get this. I get this uh, opinion. Like, what's the point? Why does it matter? Um, this actually matters 
uh, because we designers want to make sure that we deliver a high quality UI across all the pages and exactly. all of them are consistent. They mm -hmm. look identical and customer or user has seamless experience and there is nothing personal connected. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. So, so the end goal is definitely to make a better, better product for the user. So it is for yeah. developers, designers, product owners, or everyone in the in the whole system, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, you, you, uh, I, I must say that uh, I hate when I have to come like seven times to front end engineer and talk about something because neither <laughs> me or <laughs> him like this what's happening yeah. Uh, yeah. but there is a need there is a need because we need to polish it until uh it is ready however uh, there is um of course there are some exceptions if that's a small startup if we are in a big hurry mm -hmm. if we need to push mvp first and we don't have uh, capacity and time uh i think uh, the mindful designer and wise designer can accept some uh mm. misalignments yeah for the for the sake of speed so yeah, yeah. i think it's also important yeah so yeah i i get your point so it actually needs to, it, it is kind of a dynamic based on the situation right so that's mm -hmm. what, yeah yeah okay yeah cool and personally what you meant like uh if the, the designer comes to me uh, like few times i actually don't mind because i know developers are sometimes lazy to make <laughs> make like i'm i'm giving like honest opinion right so sometimes okay. probably uh, like developers are a bit lazy to make that one pixel left right or whatever so yeah i know i mean yeah that's fine that's that's uh valid also because if mm -hmm. there is something wrong of course uh developers also should respect that uh, small thing what designers uh, request yeah mm -hmm. yeah cool yeah and, and as you also said you uh, you did uh, some HTML css course right so you were saying that helped you uh, a little bit and will you also explain a little like how you think right now like from uh, like from developers point of view or so uh, yeah <clears throat> yes uh, yes, why it, 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 it was helpful. Uh, just to explain the situation, um, it was a team like of four people or something. Uh, yeah. And uh, one, I was, um, so, and we, so it was only me and another uh, person who mm -hmm. knew some HTML CSS. And it was the time uh, for making uh, a design, uh, design library, design system. Yeah. And it helped me to be that uh, neg negotiator uh, between designers and developers to um, ex explain some things in a way that uh, both understand. Okay, so you should, you designer should not be offended because uh, we cannot do it because we have component and it behaves yeah. like this and it doesn't make sense to make any exception. So let's take it. It will be consistent. So yeah, explain the situation to this to designer. At the same time, uh, it gives me a freedom, of course, not to speak in the same language, but at least uh, I've been able to uh, to take uh, the global variables uh, for our fonts. Okay, here we have all the classes for our uh, text, and then uh, I am able to write um, the correct sizing and color and space uh, and line height for all of them and uh, they understand it i understand it it's 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 much easier for me that's because yeah. i just went through the course and that's it so it's a simple thing but it gives so much value yeah yeah definitely yeah i mean also uh, like for developers uh, I think they also, it is always better to know some UX concept and everything. And there are some games online for like UX games, basically. I think last month or two months ago, I actually played uh, one game. I forgot the URL. Maybe I will share in my channel later in future. And there was uh, like, like a traditional game, there are some uh, stages. So after one stage, you go to next stage and everything. And every stage mm -hmm. is the harder for the next one 
and i yeah. did the whole game that was probably few stages game and honestly saying i have been working in the web uh, web technology web in general for 10 years i i saw a lot of new things in those <laughs> game stages so there is very minor minor things which is really hard to notice so there was some tricky questions like you have to uh, select which is better yes yes i i played so, one, that one i yeah. i know what you're talking yeah so how do you select that which is better it is really hard because sometimes even those pictures like their total three pictures for example those are so identical you cannot even probably distinguish because you have to be really in deep into design to uh, see that difference so, yeah <laughs> <laughs> so i would probably also request or recommend i mean if uh, seven people are watching live also maybe some people will watch later on youtube maybe please w uh, play those games and uh, also sometimes i read some ux articles and blogs i mean i am not a ux expert or anything but just to learn a little bit from that that aside yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah uh, that was uh, that is very helpful now maybe we can reply in comments uh, for this video uh yeah. the name of the website but when it comes to why one is correct one and another one uh, is wrong uh first of all i think it is coming from observation a lot of uh platforms and ui elements so that's like a common sense for designer mm -hmm. and uh, another point is how do we notice it uh because we the expectations so i know one of the questions so it was yeah. like avatar of people uh, avatar of person mm -hmm. and it was a circle uh, exactly yeah yeah, yeah like online yeah like yeah. online yeah. Yeah. Exactly, uh, one, exactly. one was green another was yeah. uh, orange of course that's green because this is what people associate with the online concept mm -hmm. so everything makes sense uh, yeah uh, yeah yeah yeah, true, true. So, uh, like, those are really nice to nice to play. But yeah, okay, we have another question. Maybe uh, we can uh, talk a bit about that. I have gone across a similar HTML CSS course. Okay, cool. Knowing the front end language certainly helps to consider and uh, predict the constraints that the developer might encounter in the implementation process. Yeah, uh, 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 Alex, please uh, say something about it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, to be honest, if I wouldn't be so lazy, I would complete my yeah, JavaScript, yeah, I mean... JavaScript course, but unfortunately, I did not finish it, and uh, that would be even better. So mm -hmm. if if designer goes through HTML, CSS, and then even uh, has, some, um, has gone through something deeper, um, tried some server uh, language, I think it's, it's great. Uh, because yeah, yeah. You know, he un understands the concept of API better. Uh, I think it's it, it's great. Also, it's a good hobby. Mm. Uh, just uh, looking at what you're doing, but from completely different angle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. So, uh, I mean, maybe anything you want to share, uh, we will probably uh, close the session in next five to 10 minutes or based on the questions uh, we have. So, anything uh, you you wanna say uh, in this regards, like in in in, in this whole uh, topic and related to these things? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, maybe uh, I want to know uh, your opinion as developer. Uh, maybe you can point me on one of the challenges that I didn't uh, talk about, or maybe you can pick. So that's the first question to you. Another one, mm. um, so, yeah. So the first question, uh, what we didn't mention, session. and second is what was the most important point uh, to uh, from what I presented. Okay, so I think uh, you pretty much mentioned everything, and what we in our team actually did, we actually did one uh, kind of a brainstorming session because because you know like uh, uh 
a lot of companies work with that AB experiments, right? Like AB tests mm -hmm. or AB mm -hmm. experiments. I personally tell it AB experiment, but normally uh, this is AB uh, known as AB, AB test, right? So for AB test, like for those things also for uh, little, little things, you also have to come up with some ideas, right? It is of course UX. It is not anything coding, but it is of course UX concepts. Like what do you want to present instead of that? So having uh, developers, uh, designers, and QA or anyone in the team in a single room and just write some cards, like postcards, and put it on the board, and then uh, like do some summarize on that. I really liked this idea. We actually did, I think, twice uh, in, in, in our uh, current company. And I really liked this idea, which mm -hmm. I mean, I also shared my ideas. I mean, everyone shared their ideas. And of course, from all the ideas, not everyone's idea was selected. Or even probably I gave like 10 ideas. Probably two of them were selected, right? But eight mm -hmm. of them were re rejected. Because after giving the ideas, the whole team in the room actually vo can vote. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and can give like plus, minus or something. But still, like if even two from my ten ideas gets uh, like some approval from from the team, which is also good for for the product, right? So how this works? Like it is good for the UX people, then then uh, also it is good for the developers because they are sharing their own ideas because they know what to do. And how critical would be from the implementation point of view? Because you know, no developer will give any idea which is like impossible to build for <laughs> him or her. That's for that's kind of sure. Maybe not hundred percent people will be will agree on that, but maybe let's say a majority people will do that. Because personally, me, I will not share any ideas in the team that I cannot build that. Because I know my uh, skill level. Or I know like the time or the the uh, sprint, how our sprint plans and the uh, deadline of the whole uh, cycle of the feature, right? So from yeah. that point of view, I will definitely give those ideas, which are probably small, easy to do, and also I think this can be uh, this can add value to the product. So from that point of view, let's say we all are users, we are developers, designers, and QA and product owners, but we are also users. We use software or web every day, like at least 10 to 50, literally every day, even more. Some people mm -hmm. do it more. So we know how this web works. So definitely having this kind of meeting can help to gather some more ideas. This is something uh, I like. That's, this is I'm sharing from my personal experience. Mm -hmm. And I'm really thankful to the team also, to everyone who actually arranged and gave their opinions. And uh, and the next question was, I think, which one I liked, right? Uh, yeah, which one, which of them you found uh, the most uh, important maybe? Okay, yeah, I think uh, uh, f uh, I can say uh, the maybe uh, two, one was uh, definitely uh, to learn something like as a developer to learn something from the UX site and UX mm -hmm. people can learn something from the develop developer side. Of course, not like the expert level, but at least a little bit would be really nice. Mm -hmm. to know. And mm -hmm. the, another thing about that, I think the uh, slide we talked about some involvement and that QA and everything, I think that is also something good that people involves in this uh, uh, product, like when it is done by the developers. And of course, definitely I should say that at the end that if, even if the UX people comes to me, like UX guy comes to me five times or to anyone, we should not uh, feel sad or feel bad because this is something we are doing to make the product better. So definitely that is that is okay. <laughs> Yes, uh, yeah, yeah, I absolutely uh, agree on that. Um, yeah, because sometimes I've seen like some disappointment <laughs> when I'm coming like uh, 
fifth time and then like oh no again something is not right or like <laughs> what do, what else do you bring to the table yeah uh, yeah of course this is just to make product better for people <laughs> yeah so we have a, another question uh, from the same person luigi uh, yeah. uh, Luigi, uh, sorry yeah. if I didn't pronounce your name correct. Yeah. So how do devs and designers handle the responsiveness of websites? How can you make sure that a website is pixel perfect once faced with size constraints? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, okay. Um, maybe uh, designers will hate me, but I'm anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm here to share my opinion. Uh, that desi uh, design should uh, doesn't doesn't have to be pixel perfect. Um, <laughs> it mm -hmm. means uh, it means that if you see implementation and you measure, so you go to, you you if if that's a website and you can measure and see why it is happening and it doesn't hurt anything and it doesn't make. Uh, actually any sense because there is some padding that you forgot to count in your designs it is actually makes sense to skip so it doesn't have to be completely the same also remember about fo uh, about fonts um, because they are rendering differently and if you set uh, the text as medium in browser you can see something different so it always looks uh, a little bit different and um, we should have some common sense uh, should have some common sense um or to be wise enough to not to dig into crazy details we should take the most important things deliver the most and uh, if there are many details that don't uh, give much value or doesn't break anything we can ignore it of course i'm saying uh, i said previously consistency uh yeah maybe for example uh maybe we have a little bit different design uh, sorry implementation because of the consistency in code and you forgot to count uh, some pixels in your designs uh, because it uh, it actually matters a lot how you measure distances between objects uh, how like uh, margins and padding behaves so it is better to speak with developers uh, about the small details uh, but my but my belief is design uh, doesn't have to match the implementation in a pixel perfect way it should be well it should be matching uh, well enough yeah Okay, cool. I, I think we are also at the end of the show because uh, we spent uh, around one hour. And mm -hmm. uh, anything, uh, uh, Alex, you want to say at the end for all of us? Uh, yes, uh, for all of us and for, for myself also. Uh, yes, so when it comes to collaboration, transparency and openness, maybe that's the key factor and being nice to each other is another yeah. one so i gave some of the best practices that i know it can be helpful but if you are not behaving like a human to human it doesn't matter so first of all we should uh, be kind and polite to each other and the rest comes next okay so yeah. we said we'll uh, sign off soon so uh, luigi said no stay more yeah, we would really love to stay more. And I also told Alex, maybe uh, in near future, we might do another talk, another live on on UX, of course, but it, probably a little bit different topic. Of course, it will be related to UX, related to EY and web in general, right? So, mm -hmm. and of course, I would definitely... Uh, Okay, he wrote something else. The future is no code platforms, no devs anymore in the game. Okay, I mean, a, a, as a developer, I can I can definitely say if that that <laughs> happens, then I will shift to that uh, uh, industry where I have job, right? So yeah, as a developer, we have to be dynamic. Like we we will learn the new things which come in the future and go to that that platform. So let's see. 
I'm sorry, and, but who's developing this platform for no code, <laughs> no code approach? Uh, probably he 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 meant like there are a lot of uh, like uh, platforms like no no he wrote like he's kidding but definitely there are some some uh, like page builders and everything so yeah, there are something and I also yeah. saw some ads like AI based page building technology for example so there will be something yeah of course he he just wrote like AI what I just said so. There are a lot of buzzwords like AI based page building technology or this and that. And definitely still whatever comes at least for next whatever 20, 30 years or 50 years, there will be still need for uh, like custom so the development, right? So software developers will actually build them. And even be after 50 years, I will probably not, uh, uh, I, will, I will die before that, right? So so i even don't know what will happen but yeah <laughs> so you want to be on, on retirement uh, drinking our uh, juice on maldivas or something like yeah, that yeah yeah but probably <laughs> I will just, yeah but like if i if i don't die i will just pray and uh, drink juice and relax right so yeah yeah and definitely uh, uh, the people who already are watching uh, thanks for watching and Please subscribe to our channel and I will also share Alex's Twitter. So this is Alex's Twitter. Please uh, follow him and also you can uh, follow him on LinkedIn. Uh, you can just search his name, of course. And this is my Twitter. If you want to like, uh, you can also follow me. Also, please subscribe to my channel, which is the Destro Dev Show. And we will also uh, have more guests on our channel regularly and of course alex will join us also in near future uh, to talk about it so alex any any final word uh yeah first of all we need to find a good topic to talk about uh yeah. this one we complete completed yeah. that that's it uh yeah uh really thanks for joining uh very happy to have this discussion today uh that's the first uh, discussion all on the show in my life uh, actually ever uh, so happy that it happened today. Uh, yeah, looking forward to to come and speak up uh, once again. Cool. Thanks, thanks everyone for, for watching. Yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Thanks Alex for joining again, and we'll see each other online and offline. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, we are signing off. Bye everyone. Bye bye.